1986 VW Golf convertible to 1.6 automatic this one and we're going to start off body work we'll start off with a bonnet obviously in white you put a little tiny bit underneath the seal here um, the steering makes it look worse than it actually is as you can see the rest of the scuttle is all nice and straight there's no bubbling coming through going down the bonnet overall the bonnet on this is nice and fresh nice and clean presenting itself very very well we've got color coded bumpers so there is a little bit there's a few marks on the bumpers you know if you're looking at it straight on but if you come to the top just where the paint is flaking off a little bit it kind of happens on these color coded bumpers a lot so i've still got four headlights there it's not been converted it's not really been messed with at all this one onto that lower valance there looks all all right We'll jump round up the driver's wing now. Come down the driver's wing, all nice and straight, nice and clean. A few little marks on the uh, color coded arches there. With it being white, not a massive problem to put right. And it's been, it's got white alloys as well. The wheels have been painted white. Look quite nice, white on white. Obviously, the calm in this one because it's a convertible. We're going to go around. On the driver's door now, all nice and straight. Nothing really going on at all there. No dents down the side of there that I can see. I've got some form of, I think it's a decal or seem to have been stone chipped along the bottom there. You can't even notice it until you're about a nose off. A couple of little marks here and there, but nothing really to be concerned about. Some stone chips to this rear arch here, as you can see, but they're just colour coded rear archers, not really a big problem I don't think nice and straight down that rear quarter down the whole car jump up the tailgate now all nice and clean a few little marks here and there good hand polish will swap most of those out same again the back bumper a couple of little marks that have been touched in but all in all a very presentable nice looking thing got a scuff here on the rear bumper corner Perfect one, this one, take the shop, start the local show on the weekend. Driver's rear, uh, passenger, sorry, rear quarter now. Same again here, a few little stone chips. A little bit of swing going on inside that arch there. Nice and shiny, all the trim's good down the side, there's no dents in this chrome trim, which is nice. Passenger side sill up onto the door there as you can see again all nice and straight nice and shiny all one color white which is nice and passenger front wing which is all again all nice the paint's pretty good on this one perfectly good use of this on the roof now this blue roof which is a good color that white on the navy blue the roof's in lovely condition no problems at all, all the seams, it's really nice and tight, nice and tight across the front as well. Not lifting anywhere, lovely, lovely condition that roof. A few little creases where it's been folded down, but it's not fading at all. They normally fade on here where they've been folded down in the, in the frame, but that's all lovely. Glass back window, it is missing a chrome insert. Uh, but the front one wants renewed anyway, I shall show you in a second. Heated as well that, same again on the driver's side. All lovely across these seams, across the frame. Nice and tight down there. Roof, there's no real fault at all with that roof in lovely condition. But as you can see, you see the chrome insert in this window has faded a little bit, so if you were if you were minting it, horrible expression I know, but you'd be replacing that. You'd do that at the same time. Just buy it on a roll now. What we'll do is I'll jump on the interior. So I'm on the passenger side now. all nice in there once a bit of a clean off in there that's not rust at all it's just you know wipe straight off so that's not an issue all all right in there as we go along the dash top it's all nice and clean there's no cracks along the dash top the dash itself's in lovely condition as is the interior really we'll go that to the passenger seat there no real wear at all on that no rips or tears on that seat it's navy blue with a with a sort of cross hatch red pinstripe in there 
again rear seats lovely no rips or tears it smells nice and clean it doesn't smell a damp that's this is the inside of the roof there you always see the crease up where it's been folded down but that is white and it is in nice condition again no rips or tears on the inside of that we'll jump on in the Driver's side now, driver's door card again, all nice and tidy, nice and clean, no problems there. This is the driver's side rear seat. Again, lovely condition, nice and firm, they're not sagging at all. The door cards in the back are lovely. Driver's side again, had seats now on mint. Nowhere to the bolster there or on the bottom. A little bit of crease there. Again, look, this must have been retrimmed, it has to have been. Really nice and firm, not sagging at all. Showing 102,524 miles. Like I say, 1.6 automatic. Dash is lovely across there. Steering wheel is lovely. Interior in really, really nice condition. Navy blue carpet as well. A couple of footprints, but nothing, no problems at all in there. Interior is really lovely on this one. We're going to jump into the, uh, into the boot now. Oh, torn up. Just get, oh, we've got a torno cover there, so in the boot here, small boot on these, but that's not really a problem. Spare wheel and jack, all nice in there, nice and clean. Inside the boot itself looks okay. We've got a torno cover there, is that navy blue or is it black? It's navy blue. Sort of a navy blue torno cover, if you just unfold that for us, we'll have a look at the condition of that. Again, in lovely condition. No tears or rips on that. Engine bay. Get the bonnet popped open there. Like glamorous assistant. Yeah. <laughs> right at the engine bay now. We're gonna go down. Down the top there, across the struts look all nice and clean. It's all nice and tidy in there. Kind of as you expect it to be. Nice straight level car this one. I'm gonna get fired up there. Oh, a little bit of a squeaky belt there. Apart from that, and a little bit of a squeaky belt there on start up. Uh, apart from that, it's ticking over nice and smoothly. No running noises there. No smoke coming out the back of it, is there? No ticking over quite happy. Very nice and quiet, that in fact. No problems there. Any further information on any of our locks for next sale, give us a ring on 01912689011 or give us an email at www.wbandsons.com. There you have it, little golf convertible. Thank you.